Hey guys, my name is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning all about random word generators within the Swift language. Now, before we jump straight into this, if you enjoy this tutorial and want to further your knowledge and learning ability, why not enroll in one of the many courses we have available on iOS development? All links for these will be down below in the description. But let's jump straight in to the tutorial. Creating random word generators is really, really cool in applications because it means that you can provide random content to the user, which constantly keeps your applications fresh and up to date and gives the user a different experience every time they return to the application. Meaning it keeps it fresh. They're going to want to keep coming back because something different happens every time. Now, in this lecture, we're going to talk about random word generators. And what this allows us to do is just like how the title suggests. It enables us to display, generate, and provide the user with a random word. Now, where would this be helpful? Have I ever come across random word generators before? And the answer is, yeah. Think of stuff like, and I'll give you a great example right now. Think of stuff like, um, you know, where you're trying to create a you know new account for a website you're trying to sign up to sometimes that website will pre-generate random usernames for you does that kind of give you a little bit of inspiration or maybe you're looking for a really complex password that you know nobody's going to crack for your private and secure documents you can go to websites that give you random word or random password generators that give you a load of symbols letters and numbers uh, for that random password and that's where they're simply used so how are we going to just kind of demonstrate this and how are we going to use this in this application? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our interface and we're going to add in a button and a label. Now, when we press the button, we're going to then randomly generate a word. Now, the application can't really make up a bunch of words. And the great thing is we can predetermine what words it can simply choose from. And then we're going to display that to the user inside of the label. So let's jump straight into our main dot storyboard. So in here, we're going to then go straight to our library at the top. We're going to drag and drop in first a button as we space this out. Now simply name it random word. We put a little space there. There we go. And then we're also going to add in a label. So add in our little label there, space this out as well. And we'll centralize the text inside of it so we can see it clearly when it comes to displaying that random word. So what we'll do now then is add in the actions and outlets needed to be able to control this application. So I'll get rid of the side panel, bring up our assistant editor, and within here we'll space out now our outlet section and our action section at the bottom there. And we'll first start by adding in the outlet for our label. So right click or control click and drag and drop this over. And I'll simply call it our label. There we go. And now we'll do the same then for our button. So control click or right click and drag and drop that down to the bottom, making sure the connection is an action. Now I'll call it our random word and connect that up. Perfect. So we're pretty much all good to go to add in the functionality. So we'll close our assistant editor and go back to our standard editor and then jump into our view controller.swift. So everything's all gonna happen when our user interacts with the button. So we space out our buttons function here to add in the functionality. So what we wanted to do then is basically pick a random word that we kind of pre-select from and display it to our user. What's different from this to a random kind of number generator is the random number generator, you just simply say, you know, randomly generate a number between this value and that value. Where random word, we have to predetermine what those words are going to be. So we need to create an array. An array is perfect for this method because an array can store a vast amount of kind of, you know, options or values inside of one variable. And obviously we want to have a bunch of words, a bunch of strings being displayed inside of it. So we create a constant, call it our let here, and we'll name the let array because this is what we're pretty much creating an array. And we echo this now to the array function and inside of it, we're going to format in our first entry. So let's go, let's just go through a bunch of different types of fruit. So we do two kind of a uh, quotation marks there. And we're adding our first one, which is going to be an apple. That's our first word within our array. 
do a comma, do two quotation marks again to add in our second one. And let's go for banana. Do a comma for our third one. Now our third one, we'll go for something a little bit different. Let's go for a pair. And I think we'll add five all together. So our next one can be a strawberry. There we go. And then finally, the last one, we'll go for a orange. Now the last one doesn't need a comma because that's how you know it's the last one in the sequence. Uh, but there we go, we've got five entries now inside of our array. So we wanna pick a random kind of value or kind of entry or word from this array to display to our user. And we can display it inside of the label. So we reference the label and we do dot text because that's where the text gets displayed in that label, pretty much. So then we equal that to our array. And this is the cool thing about it. This is the cool thing about the new functionality and the new ways that we randomly generate content in Swift 4.2 is we set the array and then we do dot to pick a random element inside that array. And guess what, guys? Do you know what I'm going to say right now? Well, there you go. That's it. <laughs> Believe it or not, that is literally all we need to do to display a random word from that array inside of our label. It just grabs the array up above, selects a random element, and because all the random elements here, the entries, are in string format, it's perfect because the text of our label can only be read in a string format. Now, if I had all these to be int or Boolean values or anything else, You'll throw up an error because the label can't display, you know, ints or use ints and so on and so on. But there we go. We've got a random element. And it's all well and dandy me saying there we go. Let's test it out. Let's see it actually work on our simulator. And actually watch it pick a random word from that array to display directly to the user inside of our label. So we're just going to wait now for the simulator to then build and run. And you can see it's now here. So if I press random word, bam, apple, orange. Now again, there's only five to choose from. So it is highly likely that you're gonna see them repeat as you can see right now. But the more I press it, you can see, I'm just randomly getting a word from that array being displayed directly inside of the label. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's a great way to constantly keep your applications fresh Keep them updating and just give your users a different experience because if they feel like they're getting a different experience every time they're coming back, it's not going to get stale. It's not going to get boring. It's not going to get predictable. Something's changing. Something's happening. It makes the application feel live and dynamic and like, you know, you never know what's going to happen or what's going to be coming around the corner. And that's the great thing about random generators. You never know exactly what is going to happen. But there we go. That's simply how we can generate and display random words directly within our applications.